And I welcome you back to the Brennick Channel. Today we're talking about the Three Gorges Dam. I also have an update on the new dam that China is getting ready to build. Really quick, I want you guys to do me a favor and hit that share button. You guys need to share this with everybody. And also, please give this a like. It only takes a second and this will help the algorithm push my videos a little bit more. And with that being said, we'll be right back. Stick around. What is going on YouTube? How's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. It is March 9th, 2021. It is 3.54 p.m. currently at the Dubrunic Studios and we are off about the Three Gorges Dam. First thing we're going to do is go over to windy.com and check out the rain forecast and then we're going to swing back over and do the water level and then I have everything you need to know about the new 60 gig hydro plant that China is proposing and getting ready to work on now we go over to windy.com there's not a whole lot of rain in the system over the next 12 hours we go to the next 24 hours it's going to get really heavy here but that is not within the Yangtze River system for the Three Gorges Dam whatsoever we come up to the next three days it's light very light we go to the next five still not that heavy you know half inch to not even an inch this is nothing like we saw these hot pinks that are way down here, which this might ultimately go to the Yangtze River way over here, but it's definitely not going to the Three Gorges Dam, which is what we're focusing on right at the moment. The next 10 days, they get some rain, nothing crazy, a couple inches, nothing that, the, nothing that the reservoir couldn't handle, I don't believe. If they were getting this consistently, I'd be concerned six inches. This is a lot of rain for, for southern China, but, but for the Three Gorges Dam area, you're talking a couple inches of rain. It should be able to handle that okay. It's a lot of rain, but it's not it's not the massive rain that we saw up here in like Yaan and Chongqing and all these places like we saw last summer so it's a little concerning but it's nothing too much to worry about they've seen way heavier rains than this before you're getting three inches there it starts to flow more west here so that is concerning so we'll definitely be watching this very carefully and see if this is true and take it for what it's worth right here still 10 days so who knows now we're going to roll over to the water level and see what's going on there you guys are never going to believe this but here we are three gorgeous dam it says that the level's 165.86 and this was taken on the 9th which is today or they're actually in the 10th now they're probably around three in the morning there this was taken at 1500 hours which i believe if my calculations are right that's around that was taken around 3 p.m yesterday but then we come over here to this a different website that shows the last 24 hours and it's saying that the water level is at 173 feet so which one's right which one's wrong and how come it's different always something with the three gorges dam I, I swear these people are never forthcoming so we really don't know what the water level is because here's two different things proving that now let's check out this this is from the same website here this is supposed to be the live feed at the three gorges dam and you can see it's the 3dmu.com and it just shows this loop that's continuous forever and ever and it's been that way for a while and for quite a while there was speculation that it was on a loop which makes me wonder i believe it's probably the case because it just when it snowed there was no snow there and, and then whenever it did finally snow there was nothing but this loop that constantly showed a loop and since then it's just been a blackout why is it blacked out what are they hiding why is the water level different always something with these cats over in china i just don't understand what their deal is and maybe you do but i sure don't so china's supposed to be trusted with this big three gorgeous dam and clearly everyone in the world except for maybe in china and i'm sure some of the people in china don't trust the government either as we clearly don't but what we got going on is china has a 22.5 gigawatt dam and then you got china saying they need to build a 60 gigawatt dam on the year-long Sinkpo River and it's downstream of India. Now India plans on building their own dam too downstream of the year-long Sinkpo China Dam is what we'll call it for now and they're doing it out of fears 
realized that China could hoard as much water as possible. But here's the crazy thought. Somebody pointed out in comments on this video that I made that they are building it on the biggest fault line in the world China is. So just stop and think about it, you know, that's in the Himalayas where the biggest mountain, Mount Everest, is in the whole world. And furthermore, if you ever watched a video on Mount Everest, you can see that this is lifting higher and higher before it will eventually collapse in on itself. And when it collapses in, usually that causes an earthquake. It's strategic. Think about it. So they're possibly building this dam on the Yerlung Sengpo to destroy India. So why do you say that? Let's say they build this dam, they put a lot of pressure on that fault line causing an earthquake causing the dam to possibly fell and if it's anything like the three gorges dam and they just say the sheer weight of it alone will take care of it and they don't bolt it to bedrock like you know common people here in the united states would do then there's a good chance that that dam could just collapse and fell now if india has their own dam it's a chain reaction, just like on the Missouri River, because if Fort Peck would fell, it would be a chain reaction all the way down to the Gavin's Point Dam, and then further all the way down to St. Louis. So you get the idea. The same thing that could happen in China, if it's strategic, they might want it to fell, but at the same time, they're building it for, you know, for green energy, to get away from coal, to get away from nuclear. They just want to be green. Well, the problem is with green and water is you screw up the habitat and it messes up uh, mother nature's natural way of dealing with things and I mean China can't be trusted we've already established this I don't even know how many times so it is not good and it doesn't look good so the news on this basically saying that they need to start this immediately they're wanting to get going on this project ASAP and India is considering plans to build its own dam, as I stated earlier, to increase its water storage capacity to counter the impact of China's project, an official said last year. So there you have it. That's up to date. That's what we know. And they're planning on building it this year is what it boils down to. And we will definitely be watching this project as well as the Three Gorges Dam in upcoming videos. Thank you guys for sticking around. You guys have a blessed day and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. God bless.